Let's talk about the doctor disrespect drama online. Oh no, <laughs> not the doc. This might just be a one-off video. I don't like the engagement farm on this shit, but occasionally I like to dip my toes in a trending topic. Why am I weighing in? I don't fucking know. I just, just felt like it. <laughs> It's felt like weighing in, I guess. I don't know Dr. Disrespect. Never talked to him. I'm not a friend of his. I did not hate or like him. Either way. All of this is just allegations that I'm talking about. None of this is fact. I'm just a dumb guy on the internet with an opinion. I'm, I'm nothing special. So, but thanks for sticking around and watching. If you don't know who Dr. Disrespect is, he's the, one of the biggest streamers in the world right now. I mean, at this point, you've probably heard it. If you, I mean, if you, if you're in the gaming space at all or if you've downloaded twitch or watched twitch at some point um, you know of dr disrespect or you've at least heard of him my father even even uh, called and talked to me about dr disrespect and he was he was uh he was shocked and he's been dead for 30 years <laughs> everybody's fucking heard of it you know they give the fifty thousand foot view back in 2020 or at some point around that time twitch cuts ties with dr disrespect after signing a contract with him then they cancel the contract and boot him off the, the platform. For mysterious reasons, nobody knows anything about it. Apparently it has something to do with something that happened in 2017. And then now in 2024, it comes out that somebody who used to work at Twitch made, made a post on X saying that he got booted off Twitch and the contract was canceled or whatever the hell for him sexting a minor. And then Doc comes out and doesn't really, he dances around the issue, he doesn't deny it. He just says it was all settled in court and there was no, it, nothing illegal happened and he got paid. And then he makes another statement later on, a couple days later, that says, yes, there indeed was a minor involved and that the, the conversation did get inappropriate at times. So, I mean, in his own words, he did agree with some of the allegations. And then it turned out that the ex Twitch employee wasn't exactly on the up and up when it came to like his motivations, it seemed like he, for the last couple of years, at least he had been trying to gin up interest in his band. Cause he's a, you know, one of the local low level musicians in a band somewhere in, in America or wherever the fuck he is. <laughs> and he wanted to gin up, you know, kind of interest in going to his show. So he'd be like, yeah, I'm going to you drop some doctor disrespect info. If we sell out this show and shit and everyone was kind of, you know, kind of questioning his motivations as one would. Dr. Disrespect, it, you know, finally admits that, yeah, he did. There was a, he was a minor involved and he, he did text this individual using the fucking Twitch whisper system, which I'm pretty sure is illegal to use. The communication did dabble in the realm of inappropriate. That's how he put it, which means, yep, I was sexting that minor for sure. hundred percent. Mm hmm. Shouldn't have been, but I was, and I own it. I was like, okay, well that makes it all right. This isn't, isn't that what every, every pervert has ever said ever. Like, listen, listen, I know I said I wanted her to blow me, but I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it that way. You know, the intent wasn't real. It wasn't real. I was, uh, I was just make believe. Fucking what? Your Honor, I had no idea that this girl was 15. All right. She is a lying bitch. She told me she was 13. You know, the allegation was he was, he was sexting a minor and trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon one of those years, whenever that was. That's, that's the catch a predator shit right there. Is anybody shocked? I understand like the people that were really invested in Dr. Disrespect, like they're, they're disappointed and probably coping right now, which I understand, you know, it's a, it's one of the levels of grief is the coping stage. Yeah. I can understand they're upset. So they're going to lash out. If you, when people make a video, they're going to be upset and they're probably going to be in your comments being like, fuck you, you don't know what's going on. But here's another thing. Stop looking up to celebrities. Stop it. Knock it off. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it. They're, they aren't role models, despite what the what society has been trying to tell us. He said that no, there was never any intent to do anything. We were just talking dirty. We're just we're dirty talking, and it didn't mean anything. How many times is that? Have, have you heard that fucking excuse? Not only with perverts, but just with everybody. Like you say, you catch your wife, and she's been sexing some dude that she works with, and she's like, "No, we're just dirty talking. We're just it doesn't mean anything. We're just friends." He he he. But it turns out she's been blowing him for six months. Like it's it seems like that's the way it goes every single time. So yeah, there was fucking intent. If you're if you're texting somebody and you're putting the time in to say, "Yeah, I want you to fucking do the X Y Z to me," and yeah, you know you're you're underage. So I don't care. You know, age is just a number. You know how they say, just fucking horse shit. Here, here's 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 my advice. Just don't text minors. Or here's an idea. Here's a crazy idea. Fucking if you. If somebody sends you a message and it's sexual, 
Like, why are you even engaging with that anyways? <laughs> like, you don't even know who the fucking person is. But it's say you really, let's say you really like engaging with dirty content on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. Ask them how fucking old they are. So at least you have a timestamp of when they told you and if they told you how old they were. It's pretty simple. If you can just prove that, no, they told me that they were this old. So I was going on that because you don't have any other information. What are you going to do? You're going to get their social security number. You're going to fucking, you know, do five, six hours of fucking research and trying to figure out who, you know, bootlicker 99 is. Who knows who the fuck that is? It could be anybody. If you're a celebrity. You need to be a role model. No, you fucking don't. You don't just do your thing. Do the thing you get paid to do. You shouldn't be taking your morals from a fucking celebrity to begin with. But are, is anybody shocked though? I'm not shocked. I had a thought about this and it's similar to a Daniel Taj joke, but it's something I've been saying for a long time, just in my private life with people. When people bring this up, they're like, well, did you, did you see that ex celebrity got in trouble for fucking whatever they did that week that was naughty? And I was like, yeah, I, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, I can believe it. Cause they're, they're a person and they live on this earth and people do awful shit to each other. You know, if, if somebody called me up and told me that my father is secretly a murderer and he's been doing it for 20 years. He did it for 20 years and he never got caught. I'd be disappointed, but I'd also be like, okay, yeah, I could see it. I could see it. Fuck it. <laughs> it's an old joke. I think it's, it's a Daniel Tajo. I couldn't find the, I can't find the joke on the internet. It's there somewhere, but there's so much crap. I couldn't, I was going to post it for you. It's a bit. I don't remember what the bit is. It was years ago. You know, if you find out that the girl you're talking to is underage, you stop it right there and there. You don't, you don't continue in on it all. You tell her, uh, no, thank you. You know, thank him for being a, being a fan. But if she starts talking dirty, you just tell her, no, just don't engage with people on the internet like that. If you're, if you're a content creator and you have any sort of following for one, don't fuck your fans Two, don't be sexting people that you don't know. And you're, you're not hundred percent sure of who they are. And three, if you do want like to engage in that shit, make sure you ask how fucking old they are. Okay. But it turns out, as it turns out, it looks like Doc knew. This guy knew. Whatever his name is. Guy something or other. He knew he was, she was fucking underage and he still went, went forward with it, which is terrible. You're guilty of being a fucking, you know, just like the guys you see on TV. They get busted. You can say all oh, the intent wasn't there all day long, but you already engaged in that. You're already putting it in words and sending it into the internet. Like, maybe, maybe your intent was just to mess around. You're, you're, what are you, trolling a fucking minor like that's fucked up too like what the fuck is wrong with you Jesus Christ. i don't really care about people's interpersonal relationship struggles as a if they're a celebrity and they're online i don't give a shit who they're fucking and sucking and what's going on unless it's a minor <laughs> unless it's a minor then we all should care but if they got issues where they're you know porking around on their wife like i don't give a shit about that just because he didn't do anything criminal in quotations doesn't mean he wasn't wrong for what he did or that he shouldn't be pointed out as a fucking weirdo as more information comes out i mean the transcripts eventually are probably going to get leaked unless there's a permanent lid on it which i, I don't think is that even a thing all right that'll be all for me until we meet again